Okay. I want to introduce you today to a product called the Scentmaster. It's a product that's actually been out there for about 10 years, although there were originally only 500 of them made. Our company, Pinnow Outdoors, has brought the Scentmaster back to production and we're introducing and rolling it out in the fall of this year of 2008. And I just want to explain it to you a little bit for those of you guys who may not be aware of it because it's an exciting product. It's a product that's going to change the way you hunt. Uh, the scent control being so important today to everyone uh, is going to make a big difference on how you approach your hunting and how you handle your clothes and take care of your clothes. And essentially what it is, is this box here. And I should point out that this is the old model. Uh, this is the model that was built back in the 90s. Uh, the new model actually is going to be 50% bigger than this. So I want it to be any taller or any deeper. It'll just be 50% bigger this way. Uh, but what this has is it has an activated charcoal filter. Uh, here, and this is the highest commercial grade that we can get. It also has another activated charcoal filter here. What you do is you take the small one, put it here in this top box, close that lid up tight, take this bottom one, put it here in the bottom, it leaves across flat in the bottom, or the holes in the bottom. Then you put your clothing in here, put my boots, my coats, my pants, uh, my under things, uh, if you have a base layer. I even take my release, my binoculars, and I lay them on top. Uh, you close the lid, and I have the lid off here, but close the lid, turn this on, and this motor actually pulls the air up through here, over through this box, through this activated charcoal filter here, down through a tube into the bottom, and there's holes here in the bottom, and the air comes back up through the bottom again, so you get this constant circulation. And this box is an airtight box, so there's no outside air being introduced at all. And so what it's doing, if you know anything about activated charcoal and the way it works, is it actually absorbs your scent. And so what this box is doing, is it's pulling all the scent out of your clothing and trapping in these filters. At the same time then, uh, this box is heating up in here to about 130 degrees. And so what it's doing is drying all the moisture, all the perspiration out of your clothing. And you know from having hunting, uh, my experience, your experience, is that when you go out and hunt, uh, I don't care how careful you are or how careful you try and be, as you walk back to your truck or at the end of the day when you're done hunting, you're going to perspire some. You're going to pick up moisture on your pant legs, uh, you're going to get rained on, and most of us in the past, we've taken our clothing and we've put that clothing in a plastic box or a plastic bag. Well, what happens then is that moisture, that bacteria in that clothing from your perspiration, from dew, whatever, it's gonna grow if it's sitting inside a plastic box or inside a plastic bag until the next time you put your clothing on. What this actually does is you put your clothes come in, put your clothing in here right away when you're done hunting, turn it on and it's gonna completely dry out your clothing because as I mentioned earlier, uh, it's actually going to heat up in here to about 130 degrees, so it's going to dry all that moisture out. Uh, I run mine for 20-25 minutes. What you can do then is turn it off. Take these filters out if you'd like. And what a lot of guys will do is they'll take one of these scent bags and they'll mix up a mixture. They'll maybe take oak leaves, acorns, maybe some dirt, crush it up, put it in here. You can take one of these scent pads, spray some cover scent on it, put it inside the scent box, Turn on for another 10 or 15 minutes and it will completely scent all your clothing, your pack, your boots, uh, your release. Uh, it'll scent all your clothing with whatever type of scent that you want to use. Typically, I don't do that much. I typically just use this to keep my clothes clean and dry. But what I do is once I put my clothing in here, when I come in in the morning from hunting, I put my clothing in here, I turn it on and run it for 25 or 30 minutes. My clothing stays in here until I go out and hunt that night or the next day, take my clothing out, go out and hunt come back in, put my clothing back in here. And this is just an unbelievable product. Like I said, I have uh, 10 years of experience of using this thing. It's a great product. Uh, it, it, it'll make a huge difference in the way you hunt, the way you're able to hunt. Uh, you know, the best way to look is take a look at it on our website, uh, www.scentmasterbox.com. Uh, take a look at some of the testimonials on there. Uh, there's gonna be some articles appearing here and some magazines coming up and so forth that will have more information, but you'll be able to learn a lot more on the website about the changes we've made to this original box. You'll also be able to learn about some of the guys' experience that have never had experience with this. Uh, but the most important thing is keeping your clothes clean and dry. And as I mentioned at the very beginning, we all know that activated charcoal filters work. Activated charcoal works. Uh, and this is going to really make a difference in your clothing. These filters will be available on our website for replacement. As I indicated earlier, uh, we have made a number of changes to this model. Uh, this model was built back in the mid to late 90s 
and it's, it's been a great product for me. I've used it, I've loved it. I have a lot of friends uh, that have also used this model, uh, guys in my area. I've talked to a number of people at shows. I've done a number of outdoor wildlife deer hunting sh uh, shows in a number of different states. And I've probably talked to 60 or 70 guys now and asked them what changes they would make. And they basically have confirmed all the changes uh, that I'm proposing or that we're actually going to be making to the model. And the first one is the size. Uh, as great as this size is, and it's, it's been more than adequate uh, for me in the past, I always wish it was bigger, particularly with my late season hunting. So what we've done is we've made it 50% bigger. This is a, a what's considered to be a 20 gallon container. We've made it a 30 gallon container. And by doing that, we've made, not made it any deeper this way or any taller this way. We've actually made it longer. It's 50% longer this way. Uh, we've taken this motor here and this motor uh, actually uh, sounds like a shop vac. And you know, that works okay, but if you're gonna have it in your truck running or in your car, it's, it's probably gonna get to you a little bit. So what we've done is we're using the same size motor uh, we just put a muffling technology on it and redesigned the cover here so it's about 50% quieter. Uh, even though this box is going to be 50% bigger, it's actually going to be 25% lighter, so it's going to be portable. It's going to weigh roughly about 18 pounds. It's going to have handles here on the side for you. One of the things you've also noticed, or if you're able to look at this closely, is you'll be able to see that this box is not as airtight as it probably should be. So what we've done is we've redesigned it, taken out a lot of the seams in the corners, uh, on the sides, and made it as close to airtight as possible. Here in the bottom, the airflow through the holes is very good. It comes up through there, uh, but I always wish the air was better distributed, particularly in the front. So what I did is I hired an engineer to completely redesign the airflow so you get a more even and consistent flow throughout your clothing. And guys often ask me how this is, how this is actually powered. It's actually powered off normal electricity. Just plug it in at home. Uh, in my particular situation, that works great because where I hunt, uh, I just simply walk out my door, but I know for a lot of you, you're having to drive to your locations, some of you quite a ways, maybe you go to camp for a week. And so what I've done is I've uh, actually made arrangements with a company. Uh, this is gonna be available where you'll actually be able to hook this up to an inverter in your truck and connect it to the battery. Um, I've talked to them about doing it on a cigarette lighter in, um, in your truck or in your car, but based on the amount of power that this pulls, it's gonna naturally need to be able to hook up to your battery put an inverter and so what you'll be able to do is, is put this in your truck, put this in your car, take it to camp with you, set it in your, put your clothing here as you're driving to your hunting location and actually dry and clean your clothing as you're driving. Uh, so those are the primary changes that we've made to it. Uh, there are some other changes but if you take a look at the website, uh, those different changes that we've made are actually uh, explained on there.